I think we have the same algorithm on TikTok. I swear, you're right. Because of TikTok, I have ADHD and now a tongue tie. It explains a lot of things. Maybe I misunderstood when you said because of TikTok, like you, you, because you've been on TikTok that you suddenly have ADHD or that you have learned. Like I have learned that I have ADHD via TikTok, but you're right, TikTok could give you ADHD for sure. And, and you know what? It is related. TikTok, I mean, <laughs> the ADHD and the tongue tie seems to be related. And you know what else? I found out something very interesting. My oldest daughter sent me this video today and I knew, you know, somewhat about it, but this was, it was Dr. Dr. A I think it's Dr. Amos. He's the brain clinic doctor. I love him. He was doing something on Alzheimer's and sleep apnea. And I have been diagnosed with sleep apnea. Yeah, that's really sexy. But he says, you know, the number one brain issue, like when he looks at a person's brain that has sleep apnea, it is like Alzheimer's. It is frightening because the number one thing your brain needs is oxygen. It needs oxygen. Now, I know I'm going off the, off the road here. I don't know if you have sleep apnea because if you have sleep apnea and the ADHD and tick tie, tick, tongue tie, then we need to be friends. So I suspect when my airway expands via the expander that I'm getting put in and my aligners that I'm wearing and then the tongue tie, I will get a lot more oxygen. And not only will I sleep better, but I'm thinking that p perhaps the ADHD symptoms that show up and that, that kind of like, I've got to do everything at once and a little bit scattered and kind of all over the place feeling that maybe that will calm down and be mitigated when I have a lot more oxygen to kind of calm everything down. At least I'm hoping that happens.